So if we take a look at this problem, we've got a line passing through the x-intercept 4 comma 0. We're not presented in the graph with a y-intercept, which if we had the y-intercept, this would be pretty straightforward. But uh, what we can do is find the slope. And since they've given us a graph, we can actually do that by inspection. Starting at the x-axis, I see that if we, if we rise 2, we run 1. And so just by looking at the graph, we see that y, uh, sorry, m is equal to 2. Now, I mentioned that if we had the y-intercept, we could just go ahead and write our equation. And we don't, as far as this graph is concerned. But now we have this graph and the slope. And if I use this slope, and if I backtrack a little bit, So if instead of rising 2 and running 1, what if I go down 2 and back 1? That's going to put me on the y-axis. So we can extend that axis, and we find that we have a y-intercept located at the point 0, comma, negative 8. Now I have the slope, and I have the y-intercept. So we can write our equation in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, and y equals 2x plus negative 8, and that's going to just be y equals 2x minus 8. Okay, but there's another way we can do this. And that's going to be slope-intercept form. And that's pretty much using this equation, y equals mx plus b. Now, previously, we used the graph to determine the slope. But you could do this algebraically using two points from the graph. So I could use the points uh, 4, 0, and let's say 5, 2. So now, m equals y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1. So let's just substitute. And we have 2 minus 0 on top, and 5 minus 4 on the bottom. That gives us 2 over 1, which is equal to 2. And once again, we have m equals 2. Now, I could take either one of these points or any other point that is on this line and substitute it in for x and y and then solve for b. So let's do that. So we have y equals, and in place of m, we'll now write 2x plus b. Let's substitute for 0. And so substituting for 0, 0 is y, 2 times 4 plus b. So 0 is equal to 8 plus b. And subtracting 8 from both sides, we have b equals negative 8. Once again, y is equal to 2x minus 8. There's also a third approach, um, just to kind of round things out. So we'll call this method 3. And this is actually the point slope formula. So if we, if we write that, that's going to be y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now, we've already found the slope two different ways. We found it by inspection, and we also found it using the slope formula. So we've got the slope. We can plug that in. 
Now all we really need to do is to plug in a point, x1, y1. Well, how about four zeros, since that's the x-intercept? Again, having the zero just makes it easy. So y minus zero is equal to two times x minus four. Now at this point, we can go ahead and rewrite y equals, and if we distribute the two, we have two x minus two times four is eight. And once again, y equals two x minus eight. So three different ways of doing it, using the graph, using the slope-intercept form, and using the point-slope formula.